It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. Number 16 is just algebra work of saying 3 times a times b is equal to 6, and we have to get a by itself. Well, in order to move things to the other side, you always do the opposite of whatever that function is. In this case, we're multiplying both of these, so we have to divide them to the other side because multiplying is the opposite of dividing. So if I divide both of these to the other side, I'm just going to put them on the bottom of a fraction here, and then we're going to be left with a is equal to, and those will cancel out, 6 over 3b. Now, that can be reduced because 6 divided by 3 is just 2, but we still have that b on the bottom, meaning our final answer here is option A. For 17, we're just going to be doing a bunch of algebra. We have to solve for y in this equation. First thing I'm going to do is distribute these numbers to everything inside and rewrite. 4 times y is going to give me 4y. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 equals 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 2 is going to be 4. Then we need to get all the y's by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides. That's going to go ahead and cancel these out and leave me with 2y minus 4 equals positive 4. Then I'm going to go ahead and the opposite of subtraction is adding, so add 4 to both sides, giving me 2y is now equal to 8 after those cancel out. And last but not least, divide both sides by 2, giving me y equals 4, which is answer C. Number 18 is asking if you know about the rules in an isosceles triangle. That's when two of the sides are the same, but the third one is not necessarily. So what do we know here when it's isosceles? Well, we know that these two sides are the same, but also these two bottom angles will be the same. Well, we know that all the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees always. So in that case, when we're trying to find out what S is, I'm going to find out what's left over after taking this one away and then divide it in two since these two have to be equal. So 180 minus 70 is going to give me 110 for both of these together. Divide that by 2, and it gives me 55 for each one. That means our answer here is B. I think the wording is more confusing than anything else in this situation. It says when you have D divided by 15, the answer is 6, and then there's still a remainder of 2, meaning there's 2 left over out of whatever that D is. Well, in this case, then it says, what is the remainder when D is divided by 6? Well, if D divided by 15 is 6 plus that 2, then that means D divided by 6 would just be 15 plus that same 2, because 15 times 6 plus the 2 right here gives us D. So our answer should be that the remainder stays the same as 2, which is B. So number 20 says that seven consecutive even numbers has an average of 24. So what's the largest number? Well, first off, consecutive means that it's like one after the other without skipping any. But because they're even numbers, we're going to be leaving out every other number because that would be odd. So they want to know the largest number. Well, because these are all evenly spaced out being consecutive, the middle number is in this case, the median, is going to be the same as our average, our mean. So that means that the middle number here has to be 24. From there, we just have to work by jumping by twos to get to our largest number, so that would be 26, 28, and 30 as our largest number. So C is the answer. Now people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB, so make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni, and if you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below, and make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.